Well, we're working to learn the details of Vice President Kamala Harris's visit to Fayetteville on Thursday. But you can bet, in light of what happened over the weekend with the attempted assassination of former President Trump, security here in Fayetteville is going to be extra tight. When we had a visit from a very high-level protective president, vice president, and I always had in the back of, the, of my mind that I did not want my city to be Dallas. That's former Fayetteville Police Chief Harold Medlock talking about the assassination of President John F. Kennedy. During his long time in law enforcement, he provided security for several presidential visits. In every case, both in Charlotte and in Fayetteville, we always positioned our police marksmen with a Secret Service marksman on high ground. That was a given. Sources with details of Vice President Kamala Harris's visit to Fayetteville on Thursday tell me those rooftop sniper locations have already been identified. This will be the Vice President's seventh visit to North Carolina this year. It comes on the heels of last week's visit to a school in Greensboro. The last time she visited Fayetteville was during a campaign rally for Joe Biden in November of 2020. Medlock says while the Vice President will be in Fayetteville, prepping for her arrival is a statewide team effort. Chief Braden and the Fayetteville Police Department, and I'm sure uh, the Sheriff's Office and the North Carolina Highway Patrol are all over this to make sure that it's safe and secure and, and that they can have a good visit. And then again, to make sure that the city, you know, remains open for business. Even though Fort Liberty is to our north, military personnel will not be directly involved with the security of the vice president. That will be left up to local authorities and the Secret Service. In Fayetteville, Gilbert Bays, WREL News.